Ninja Maniacs, Kelly here, and on today's video, hang with me guys, we're gonna get into listings. We're gonna talk about why some big teams, and you've got them in your geographical areas, there's some teams that you can point to, and you might be on one of those teams, but the majority of you are not on those teams that you can probably say, oh my gosh, they are crushing it. They're getting listing after listing. Um, what are they doing, right? Why are they getting that? And I'm not. So stay tuned. We're going to get into the heart of listings and getting appointments. And we're going to break down the difference of why they are getting listing appointments and you're struggling. So bear with me. Let's get into this. But before we do, please smash that like button. This helps the ninja. This helps the channel. And this gets me, uh, gets me in a position to have my videos shown to more agents. So share some love with me. Now, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell. If you've already subscribed, go smash that bell. You'll be notified when I go live with these videos. All right, so without further ado, let's talk about the psychology of the listing. Actually, let's talk, ah, screw that. Let's talk about why big teams are getting listings, right? It comes down to a couple things they are implementing that you are probably not. The first thing is they have systems right? They've got systems in play to handle and funnel. And now we're not talking about building funnels. I'm talking about the actual word funnel. They are funneling these leads through a system to get to an appointment. Now, I'll give you a, an experience of a local brokerage here where I live that is dominating, right? It's a team that does 150 plus uh, deals a year, probably somewhere around 59 to 70 million a year. Um, don't know the numbers exactly, but they do a lot of business, right? And they have, I know for a fact, they've got two listing agents and they've got three or four buyer agents. They've got an admin. They have a offsite VA setting up all their appointments. They've got a, a, a budget of 20K or more a month, probably more in ad spend to get leads in. And they are advertising across multiple social media channels, uh, notwithstanding Facebook ads, Google pay per click, uh, probably doing a lot of mailers. Um, they've got their hands in a lot, right? So their biggest thing though is the funnels and the money. So for those of you watching this, if you're going, oh my God, it's just such a low inventory market. How am I gonna get a listing? I have good news. I'm going to share with you how you can compete at your level with those big guys and start to see some listings coming in. So stay tuned with the Ninja and let's jump into this. Let's talk about where you go to find the potential lead. Now, if you don't have the four to $6,000 budget to be on Facebook, the three to four grand a month to be on Zillow.com or Realtor to get their leads, there are other things you can do. So let's talk about those types of scenarios, right? Here is a little known fact. Most of you probably don't know this or you've heard it and you've forgotten. Some of the best listings, leads that you can get right now are older expires. And you're like, oh, Kelly, there's just not very many expires. Everything's being sold. Not true. Go to your MLS, pull up everything in your county that expired six months ago to 12 months ago. You'll be amazed at how many of those homes are still expired they just didn't sell and agents are not calling them. Now we all know that expireds right now are getting hammered. If your home expires, if it happens to expire, we know that's very rare right now, but if it does, every franchise broker is calling that expired, right? The same thing with for sale by owners, um, but they're not being marketed to in what I would call a manner consistent with a message that would really resonate with them. So we're going to talk about that today. So in today's video, instead of having to worry about the fact that you don't have $20,000 to spend, you're not paying a virtual assistant to call all your leads. Uh, you know, a lot of those teams, guys, I don't know if you know this or not, but a lot of those teams, the listing agents aren't doing any kind of lead generation per se. They're literally looking at their calendar and the VAs are scheduling appointments for them. They're going they're doing their presentation, getting list agree listing agreements and moving on, right? So that's what they're doing. So let's look at what you can do. Let's talk about three lead sources right now that you could literally, with very little competition, start to dominate 
if you will implement a couple changes, right? So let's talk about expireds and for sale by owners and pre foreclosures. Guys, if you don't jump in the pre foreclosure market, you're going to miss a ton. Look at what's going on. Today is uh, 5 13 2021, right? What's the big news? Inflation, gas shortages. All of these economic indicators aren't looking good. As a matter of fact, one of my stocks took a major hit in the last four months, right? The economy's kind of teetering and that's coming off of a devastating 2020. So you better believe in the next 12 to 18 months, if I were you and I were an agent, I would put together a system to start dealing with pre foreclosures. So for you, listings, expireds, FISBOs, pre foreclosures, you will have enough business just with those to start to see some really good uh, appointments and at the end of the day, closing. So let's look at a couple aggregate sites you could get. These are sites that I'm going to show you right now that you could get that you could start getting leads in. Now, remember, not all these sites are equal. There are good and there are bad, right? So let's jump in and take a look at one of them. You guys are probably aware of a company called Red X. Red X is a service that offers a variety of different lead sources, expireds, FISBOs, for rent by owner, right? Geo farming. So it is a great company for you to get some of these leads. And for pricing, if you want just the expireds, they're $59 a month. If you want to get geo leads, that's where you can go into a subdivision and start pulling some leads uh, for a specific area. And this is mainly for you to start calling them. That's 50 a month. If you want for sale by owners, it's 39. So in, in this instance, if I wanted to use Red X, I would pay them roughly $100 a month for expireds and FISBOs. And primarily what I'm going to be getting is addresses, names, and possible phone numbers. Okay. So I do not use Red X. I'm not talking bad about them, but I don't really do a lot of cold calling anymore. Most of what I do is direct mail and I literally have them calling me for the appointments. And remember guys, you need to have multiple touches if you're going to get listing appointments. Not a phone call isn't the only thing that's going to work and one letter. We're talking six to eight points of touches for you guys to start dominating. So again, Red X is an option. You can just go and Google them and sign up and, and you're off and running. I don't prefer this one, but you're welcome to use them. Uh, they've been around for quite a while. Another company is called Land Voice. I used to use Land Voice. They're very similar to uh, Red X, right? Um, price wise, they start out at 79 a month and go all the way up to their pro, which is 156 per month. And for that, you are going to get expired FISBOs, neighborhood searches and pre foreclosure, which is good. But remember, I used to have them and what you're getting from them. The majority of what you're getting from Land Voice is going to be, again, a mailing list, a possible phone number. And uh, the data, and the, again, the name, the mailing list, and phone number. And the reason why I don't use Land Voice anymore is I also don't get that email, right? Now, let's talk about email and phone and all of that. As realtors, you have to be careful. If they are on the do not call list, it pretty much takes out of the equation cold calling, right? Now, you're welcome to cold call all you want, but you do run the risk, if they're on the DNC, of getting a fine. So that's why I have gone to direct mail and not just any direct mail, direct mail that converts to be part of my touch campaign, right? But again, Land Voice, very similar. They are 156 a month. You do get multiple uh, niche uh, reaches on their platform, but in most cases, no email addresses, right? The next one is a company called Mojo. Now this is where you can get, um, Data like neighborhood search for rent by owner. You can get expired for 50 and FISBOs for 25, and that's just per county. As a matter of fact, most of these are going to be per county. So for Mojo, people get Mojo because they want the ability to have multiple line dialers. That's where you're pounding the phones. Now, remember, the expired and the FISBOs, if you're going to work those niches for listings, a lot of those are going to be on the do not call list. So if you get this, the single line, that's where you're calling one at a time. It's 99 a month. And then you pick the plans that you want. So this could be close to $200 a month by the time you're done to use them. So again, to recap, you've got Red X, which is about $100 a month. 
You've got Land Voice, which is going to be 156 a month. Mojo is going to be close to 200 a month. And now my personal favorite. This is a company called My Plus Leads. And I'm going to get into them in just a minute as to why I use them. Um, and, and guys, below this video, if you want to try them out, I'll give you a 30-day free trial. Uh, you can start literally communicating with these leads today if you use the free trial. But you don't have to. That's why I'm giving exposure to several companies that will give you listing leads that you can start dealing with right away. But the reason why I like this company, first of all, there's a free trial. If you go to my post leads on their website, you get 14. If you go through my link, you get 30 days. Okay. Then for 59 a month, you get FISBOs and expires. Now I'm going to show you my dashboard in a minute and show you why the FISBOs and expires for my plus are what you want to be getting. Right? So 49 a month if you just do the expired data, but if you want to add uh, FISBOs, it's 59 a month. Now, what areas? This is what I really like. My base zip code is 34711, which puts me close to Disney World or Orlando in Lake County, Florida. What they do is they give me a 50-mile radius. Guys, that takes me all the way up into Ocala, Florida. That takes me over to Tampa, Florida. It takes me all the way down south of Polk County, Florida, and all the way into Orange County, including Orlando, Oviedo, Kissimmee, Poinciana. So I literally am covering a good chunk of Central Florida for $59 a month. So again, guys, let me get back to me for a second. Let's, let's just make sure we're recapping. The big teams are spending $10,000, $30,000 a month. They're getting tons of leads in, and they've got people calling these leads for their agents. And that's why with their systems, they are just crushing it. For you to compete, you have to look at yourself as a micro uh, cell within their big organization. And you have to take your uh, business and become just like them, but on a smaller level, right? So if you don't have the cash flow to make phone calls, you're going to need to do that. However, with my experience and the marketing that we do, we have, I would say, 70% of all of the leads that we generate and communicate with call us for appointments, right? So stay with me, guys. Let's take a look at my dashboard and why I think you should use my plus leads. Now, disclaimer, I am an affiliate with them, but I also use them, right? So if you use my link and get the 30-day trial and stay with it, I will make a small affiliate payment. Um, that's why I'm giving you exposure to all these other programs. You're welcome to use whoever you want. Let me show you why I use my plus leads to get listing leads, right? Just in the last four days, I've gotten 26, 20, I'm sorry, 35 different potential leads just in the last four days. So for those of you that are sitting there right now and you're going, oh, wait a minute, you know what? Let me show it to you. Here is my plus leads. In the last four days, there's all the leads that have come in for the sources I'm going after, right? And so what's going to happen is I'm going to get these leads and I'm going to start multiple campaigns, email campaigns. If they're not on the do not call list, text video campaigns. And all of these leads are going to go on a, a drip uh, direct mail campaign. Right, guys? So check this out. Just today, there were five new FISBOs I can start marketing with. OK, look at these email addresses. This is what you don't get with a lot of. So three of the five leads, I've got email addresses. I typically get anywhere from 66 to 80 percent of all the leads coming in will have an email address. So not only can I reach out to them by phone if they're not on the do not call list with a text video, I can put them into a drip campaign for emails with bomb bomb videos, these convert at a high rate and they're all designed to get these people calling me. But then immediately I can take all of these leads. Now I do not work with anything under uh, right now, $300,000 or less. I'm not going to reach out. So these first two leads, I wouldn't talk to. I wouldn't talk to that one. I might talk to this one because it's in a good area. Um, so there's three here I might deal with, but for sure there would be two here that I would deal with from today. Now, if I go back to the dashboard, so three of those five I will work with. Here's an expired home from last night. Now, I would go ahead and reach out to this one. It's not that far from me. There's an email address. There's a phone number. And there, it's not on the do not call list. So what am I going to do with this data now? Let's go ahead and talk about what you could do as an agent to compete with the big boys if you want listing leads. You've got to have data. You need data. You have to have data. So once you have this data, and here's the data, 
you can start reaching out to these potential listing appointments to get your message to them. Now, today's video, we're not talking about your offers. That's a whole nother video. Today, we're going to assume that you've got good offers, uh, that you're working on your systems. You're going to put it. Guys, don't do anything I'm sharing with you if you don't have offers and systems. It's a waste of your time and money. But make sure that once you have this in play, you've got drip campaigns. You've got all of that. Then you're ready to rock and roll, guys. So what you're going to do, and I'll show you just an example of what I do. Here's one right here that canceled, right? And here is the name. So I'm going to view this lead. Let me walk you through how I structure my day. Here's the home right here, right? And it has expired. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this gentleman's name. Okay. So I'm now in this portion of the video, I'm going to show you exactly what I do in real time to start reaching out. I go over here to a company that I use called Mailbox Power. This is my go-to direct mail uh, platform. And guys, I'm not doing a video on uh, Mailbox Power today per se. If you want to watch what this software can do in its entirety, just uh, go and look at www.closingdomination.com. I do a complete video walkthrough of why this needs to be one of those softwares. It's 49 bucks a month. Every realtor should have this one, right? But here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to come up here to my address book. And I'm going to go ahead and create a new contact for this person. And watch how quick this is. Once I have his name in there, I'm going to drop down here to his address. I'm going to go back into here and I'm going to go ahead and grab this. And this one is not showing up here. So I'm going to leave that alone on the city. We already know it's Davenport. So I'm going to go ahead and put Davenport. I'm going to put Florida and it should pull up the zip code. There it is. And typically what I do, guys, is I'll copy the name because I'm going to need this in a minute. I'm going to go ahead and save the contact. All right, so what I just did, guys, is I walked you through a just a sliver of what we do every day when we market. Remember, the goal of this is to set up a multiple touch campaign to get you an appointment. They don't know who you are until they start to see things from you, like text videos, emails, emails with videos, direct mail with your offers, with who you are. This is how you gain authority, right? So now I'm going to come back over here to the main menu. Remember, this was and expire. So I'm going to the main menu. I'm going to campaign builder within my mailbox power. Okay. Over here, I've already got a, an expired drip campaign and this is what it looks like. So this campaign, it took me five minutes to set up. It has four direct mail cards, right? The first one goes out today, the next one in seven days, seven days after that, seven days after that. So in a span of one month, I am sending four postcards with a serious message to get them to call me. The entire cost for me to send this client four postcards in the next four weeks is a $1.63 total, total, not per week, total. So that client's only costing me a $1.63 to get four cards. So between these four cards, two or three emails, two or three video texts, I've got anywhere from nine to 12 touches going to one client, right? So now let me go back to the campaign. Okay, and I'm going to now start them on a drip. So I'm just simply gonna enroll that client. Do you remember that client that I just put in there, right? I just stuck this client into this software, right? So right here, I'm gonna go ahead and put that name that I put. There it is, and watch this guys. Add the campaign, I'm done now. This particular client, this expired, is going to get from me four postcards. Now, what I'm not going to do on this video, because I'll do that when I'm done, is I'm now going to upload this particular individual and his address into my CRM. I have KD Core. I've already got a drip campaign set up. I'm going to send them a text video and an email video. Now, if they're on the do not call list, I won't do it. I will send them an email and just simply be very generic with a video. 
and allow them to reach out to me. On my postcards, I'll have a QR code. If they want more information and click it, it'll ask for their name and their phone number. Once I have that, they're going to start getting text videos from me. So guys, that is a very short microcosm of how you as an agent can compete with other real estate big teams in your area by going after the low hanging fruit, expired FISBOs, pre foreclosures. I didn't even show this to you, but if I go back up here, what I just showed you, see right here are 10 pre foreclosures. These are 10 people and you better believe I'm going to send a drip campaign. I've got a two card drip campaign for these. It'll go out now and two weeks later, all uh, 10 of these today will get a postcard to postcard drip campaign from me. It will cost me something like 45 cents for both cards. And the cards that I send them are not scary cards. They are help is on the way cards, right? So there's 10 pre foreclosures. I'm literally reaching out to, to see what I can do to help them. So on any given week, I will have just from my plus leads, and Mailbox Power, the ability to reach out, and my CRM at KB Core, the ability each week to reach out to between 20 and 35 new leads, which are listing leads of potential buyers of homes. This is how I can compete with the big companies, the guys out there pushing out 20 to $30,000 per month in advertising costs. Am I gonna do 200 homes a year like they are? As a single agent, probably not. I don't want to. I don't have to, to get the goals that I want, the, the type of business that I've created. I don't need to do that. You know, most of you really 10 to 20 deals per year as a single agent and you are crushing it. Now, don't be discouraged. You want to do 50 deals, 100 deals, go for it. You definitely need systems in play and you will be hiring listing agents, buying agents and virtual assistants and maybe an office admin, right? Expenses go up, but cash flow comes in. So, However you want to do your business, guys, I just showed you how to predictably scale and start to play in the same arena as the big boys. All right. As always, drop me some comments below. I'd love to hear what you thought about this video. Um, I'd love to hear some of your success stories. And don't forget below the video, I'll give you free trials to both Mailbox Power and My Plus Leads. And if you decide to do Mailbox Power, I've already got all the cards for you guys. I've already paid my designer. You're welcome. I give them for free as a way of saying thank you for trying them out. So if you want to jump on board, this is how you're going to get there, guys. All right, man. I appreciate every one of you. Smash the like button, hit subscribe, hit the bell, and stay with me because I got more videos coming. Have a fantastic day, ninjas.